Come on, Ben. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I'm really actually surprised how nice it is out here. Oh. Yeah, after well, we we only had about maybe three months of uh, actual winter weather, and we're actually finally. Uh, it's finally melting away, as hard as that is to believe. But as you can see here, there is actually no snow hardly anywhere. And it's March, see, what day is it? March 13th today? Or no, no, it's the 14th today. Yeah, something like that anyway. But I'm just taking the camera here, doing an outdoor shot here. Trying to find a good, some good out sound here, but. I'm be deep. Be deep. Oh. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, all right, everybody. Frank Lawson here. And I figure I'd do a, a video here. I'm trying to, you know, trying to, I don't know. I want to start filming more on widescreen and everything. And, I figure the best way to do that is to kind of figure out kind of like how I was doing before, but actually this time uh, see if I can get make longer videos of widescreen where there won't where it won't take so long to upload. Sometimes it doesn't take too long. Sometimes it does. It just depends on how long the video is, I guess. But I just wanted to go here and check it out. Kind of a beautiful, beautiful day. A beautiful evening. Overall, huh, not too cold out today. You know, it's been, uh, it's been at least above zero. It's been at least, if anything, uh, at least the weather's been really nice around here. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I look like a fool filming around the neighborhood here, but. Ah, it's been going, it's been really good. Really good weather. We've been in the 50s and 60s, I heard on Saturday, it's supposed to be like in the 70s. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to comment on the uh, whole, you know, finding out that, uh, and normally I don't pry into anybody else's business, but because it's YouTube and because Sean Phillips kind of let us know what was going on, I feel kind of bad. And I don't know if this is actually for real because I know in the past they've you know they've kind of pretended to not oops, pretended to, to not be friends or whatever all of a sudden then all then then all of a sudden they were friends and I know it was just a, a gag but I don't know I think this time around I think it's more I think it's more real I think uh, that it was than it was the last couple of times. Finding out that MJ is actually getting married. And the fact is that, that uh, MJ never asked Sean to be his best man. You know, I really don't care what type of wedding you have. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a big wedding, small wedding, Justice of the Peace, or whatever. I mean, but you'd figure that, that, you know, they'd have everything figured out to where their friendship was really good. To where Hebde would ask Sean to be his best man. I I think that's exactly what their what the whole argument is for why if why Sean feels the way he does right now. I'm thinking that's probably the real reason why he's upset. If anything, because you know I'd be upset too. You know, in fact, in in some ways I can actually relate to this a little bit because of the fact that you know I've had friends growing up in school that I was really close to and all of a sudden you know they decided they don't want nothing to do with me after having school was out or or even after you know we got older and everything and you know I had a good friend too that got married while he was in the military and I thought you know we were really good friends where I could have been his best man and all that and, and he he just didn't want me to be his best man he never I, I didn't get invited to the wedding or anything. Of course, it was way down in Texas, but 
tell where he got married, but it, it really hurt me because I thought, you know, we were really good friends, and I thought, you know, like nothing could pull us apart, but I guess it show, goes to show that sometimes maybe there's a reason for everything, you know. It shouldn't be that way. I mean, things should just be able to work out, and, and you know, most people should be able to be friends no matter what, but but I can understand what Sean's kind of going through uh, regardless, you know. So, but whatever. I mean, I'm not here to pry on a lot of that stuff. I just want to get my opinion on the whole, you know, whole MJ Kelly get married thing. And I mean, you know, congratulations, MJ, to get married. But I think you should have done it a little bit better. I think you should have at least had, or at least asked Sean to be, you know, the best man because I think he feels pretty left out now, the fact that you would do, you would do this to him. But, you know, just, it happens, I guess. But sometimes it shouldn't happen this way. You know, people shouldn't be selfish. They should, not everybody, anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.